Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the full process of installing the Windows subsystem for Android on Windows 11. So let's get started. First, there are some requirements you need to meet. You'll need to set your region to the US, as the Windows subsystem for Android is currently available only on systems with the region set to the United States. To do this, open the search box, go to Settings, type Region, and click on Region Settings. Make sure your country is set to United States. Next, you'll need to enable virtualization in your BIOS. This step varies depending on your processor and motherboard. In this case, my hardware is an Intel 12th GN Core i5 processor. If you have different hardware, you'll need to search for the instructions specific to your setup. So, let me quickly show you how to find those instructions. I'll just head over to Google and search for something like Enable Virtualization 12th GN Intel Core i5 BIOS Setup. As you can see, there are plenty of helpful resources that walk you through the process. This is exactly how you can find instructions for your specific hardware if you're using a different processor. Once you've found the instructions for your hardware, here's how you can do it if you're using the same processor as mine. Open the settings and then navigate to System. From the system, scroll down to find Recovery. In Recovery, find the Advanced Startup under Recovery Options. Click on the Restart now and then confirm it to enter Recovery Options. Next, you will see a bunch of options. From here, go to Troubleshoot and then select UEFI Firmware Settings. Your computer will then enter the BIOS settings. Under Configuration, look for a setting called Intel Virtualization Technology. Enable Intel Virtualization Technology by selecting it and toggling it to Enabled. Save the changes and exit the BIOS. To check if you have enabled virtualization, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape on your keyboard to open the Task Manager. Navigate to Performance and at the bottom you will see that the virtualization is enabled. After that, you need to enable Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Platform in Windows 11. Open the search box, type Windows Features and click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. In the Windows Features menu, make sure Virtual Machine Platform are enabled, then click OK. After Windows applies the changes, you'll need to restart your computer. Now that we've enabled those features, we need to enable Developer Mode. Open the search box, go to Settings, type Developer, and click on Developer Settings. Turn on Developer Mode and confirm by clicking Yes. Next, we'll update the Microsoft Store to make sure we have the latest version. Open the search box, type Store, and open the Microsoft Store. On the left side, click on Library, then click Get Updates to ensure that all your apps are up to date. This may take a few minutes. Once your apps are updated, it's time to download the necessary packages for installing the Windows subsystem for Android. In the description below, you'll find two links. One is the official link to the Microsoft Store page for the Windows subsystem for Android, and the other is to Store Ad Guard, a website you'll need if you're not based in the US. If you're outside the US, follow these steps. Copy the official link for the Windows subsystem for Android from the Microsoft Store, then paste it into the other website. Select Slow from the drop down menu, then click the check mark. A list of files will appear. You'll need to download the APPX version of the Microsoft.UI.XAML package and the MSIX bundle file for the Windows subsystem for Android. If Edge blocks the files for security reasons, just keep them as their safe official Microsoft packages. Once downloaded, install the Microsoft UI package by double-clicking it and selecting Install. Next, go to the search and type PowerShell. Open PowerShell as an administrator. Right-click PowerShell in the search box and click Run as administrator. Once it opens, you'll need to enter the command add-appx package followed by the path to the Windows subsystem for the Android package you downloaded. You can copy the file path 
by right-clicking the file and selecting Copy as Path. Then, paste it into PowerShell. Press Enter to install the package. Once the installation is complete, the Windows subsystem for Android should be installed. You can delete the installation packages at this point if you'd like. If you search your system, you should now see the Windows subsystem for Android. If you want the latest version, open the Microsoft Store, go to Library, and click Get Updates. After updating, you'll have the most recent version of the Windows subsystem for Android. You can now install Android apps or even the Google Play Store. I hope this updated guide helped you install the Windows subsystem for Android. If this video helped you out, feel free to buy me a coffee using the link in the description. This will support the channel so I can keep making more videos like this. Thanks for watching.